At Amazon's robotic-enabled fulfillment centers, thousands of newly developed AI-powered cobots are rebuilding how man and machine work together. We actually started introducing robotics in around 2012. So just right. like so, seven years ago. Yep. We have this first example of human-machine collaboration. Uh-huh. These are mobile shelves that are drive units of the, the little orange uh, robots you see below. Yeah. You can move those at will, any shelf at any time. And at the right time, like magic, at Universal Station, it's going to say, hey, I think that object is right here. Wow. Now, she is going to do a pick operation, that scan, and if it passes that bar, it's the right object. Look at him go. These, good. these shelves yeah, are crazy. Awesome. You put them both together in order to create a better system. Is there a day where there's going to be a robot who can pick and look through things just as good as she can? And is that a day that you're planning for? Are you already planning for it? Humans are amazing at problem solving. Humans are amazing at generalization. Humans have high value, high judgment, right? Why would we ever want to separate that away from our machines? We actually wanted to make that uh, more cohesive. From 2015 to 2017, Amazon held competitions where college teams designed robots to do more or less what Jav does all day. Single out objects, grab them, then stow them in a specific place. See how, how I can collapse the hand so I can get it into where it is? A robotic hand, just, I haven't seen anything with that sort of dexterity. That's Ty Brady, the same Amazon exec we met earlier. Sure, he hasn't seen a robot perform that task yet, but that's exactly why it's the holy grail for making robots as physically versatile as humans. The Amazon picking challenge is a perfect example. A bunch of minds working on it for a long time, and we still haven't figured out how to just pick things from a bin. And that's a multi-billion dollar, potentially trillion dollar value proposition. What's so hard about it? Computers are smart, right? What we think is hard is very different from what computers think is hard. So we think that being a chess grandmaster is a hard challenge, but the computer can just go through all the possibilities. Whereas this, like, there's infinite possibilities to grab that apple. What happens when we crack the grasping problem? A lot fewer Amazon employees. 